Hello, Andy here with Pop Yachts. They were looking at a 2001 Century 2600 walk around. Nice mid size cruising and fishing boat. It's powered by Yamaha's 250 horsepower OX66 saltwater series outboard motor. Just under 600 hour mark of use since day one and the power head was professionally redone about a hundred hours ago. Nice stainless steel swim ladder, trim tabs, updated transducer for the Raymarine fish finder, nice and shiny hole sides, a couple of scuffs just from bumping docks over the years, uh, no major damage to note anywhere. Keel guard up at the bow. Nice shade from the fiberglass hardtop and a beautiful wraparound stainless steel railing. It's paired with a dual axle aluminum Magic Tilt Magic Trail trailer. Electronics upgrades, nice amount of deck space, removable bench seat, and a cuddy cabin for any overnight trips. Let's go ahead and hop up on deck. Nice integrated swim platform and at the transom here, fresh water shower, 11 gallon capacity on it, prep station with sprayer and a see-through lid on the live well. Nice separator in there too, keep stuff fresh. You can see Sea Stars hydraulic steering system and safety in mind with a walkthrough transom and doorway. The rear bench seat is removable. You've got two in-floor fish boxes and under gunnel rod storage as well as in gunnel rod holders and then the four you see back at the transom. Both these boxes are insulated. Helm's been redone. Got one year old Ray Marine hybrid touch. Nice bright screen. GPS, fish finder, and plotter. Mixture of touch screen as well as buttons on the side. And when not in use, there's a cover for it. Then of course this lid closes. Richie Compass. Mounted up top, and then a ICOM VHF radio in this lockable glove box. Boss Marine stereo, dual speakers with the unit over here. A few more storage lockers on the port side, and both of these forward facing seats swivel around and they're adjustable. Upholstery is still nice and soft on them. It's showing a little bit of wear for the age, most likely original. Uh, the combing pads look good on both sides too. Water fill on this side and waste pump out for the onboard electric head and then your fuel fill for your 150 gallon tank. I love the wraparound stainless steel railing going up to the bow and then again for the securely mounted hard top and when you're out fishing all day, you've got a 100 watt solar panel keeping the batteries topped off. And you can see the brackets for the dual outriggers, which are over there. <laughs> nice roof hatch and two side hatches for the cuddy cabin and a double wide seat cushion for up at the bow. Great when cruising. All the decks feel solid. And a couple of steps up to the hard top if you feel like doing a cannonball. You've got du dual LED spreaders for early morning or night fishing. And then inside the cabin, two removable cushions, one step down. Again, all non skid patterns molded into it freshwater sink and small cooler and behind door number one is the electric head 
It's got a holding tank with pump out and electric macerator. Nice ventilation window in there and a single 12 volt light too. Cushions show one small tear in the fabric. May want to just recover them, give it a refreshed look. Headliner's all good, as well as the side paneling. I don't see any drooping anywhere, and it's uh, odor free inside the cabin. No mildew or mold visible. Take some time, check out all of the high resolution photos we have posted on popyachts.com, and give me a call today. Look forward to meeting you for a walkthrough tour. Let's get you out there cruising, fishing, and having fun. Talk to you soon.